Uh, ready to fly, who ran at the VAR last time out, second run back in Gauteng. Was that a factor or were you expecting better? No, no, no. Look, if one looks at the replay, it was an upside down um, race altogether. Caballo commits, gets trapped wide, has to go too hard to get there. She holds on till about 400 to go and then she has a heart attack. So. And ready to fly is on the improve and goes right around them to go and set the fraction. So ready to fly is the new leader. In second is Kayla's Dream, Arden Park, a colourful past. Then comes Cerulean Dancer, further back to Gilda Gray. Light of day is only racing four or five lengths off them. Fascinada is behind that one. Little Miss Sunshine, then comes Golden Spiral, who came via the car park, racing about four or five, maybe even six lengths off the leader as we drop back to the rest of the field rose willows a long way in behind with super secret as they go decent clips up to the 800 ready to fly done some work got to the front freewheeling by just over a length she wants to be ridden, ridden a little more quieter than that and a bit more patience she's a nice kind of filly just a very mature sort i'm expecting i'm always expecting a bit more than i'm getting from her but she'll get there uh, i have no doubt in my mind Cool winter and worn and Arun's colours. What are you expecting there, Mike? I don't know, actually, what to expect, to be honest. His work at home is not bad. I see his form over 14. Probably his best run, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not convinced he's a 92. We've got the kid on claiming, uh, so that'll help a little. He's well drawn. Um, he'd be about 75, 80%. His work's good. I mean, I wouldn't leave him out of anything. Let's put it that way. I, I just, I honestly don't know what to expect. Fair enough, as we move to Rimya in race five. Although winning a maiden over 1,400, I think, you know, maiden and the next level is a different ball game. I think she's probably better suited to 12. Her best run is a run to Marani over 12. Yeah. So we're coming back in distance. I think, I think I'm doing the right thing. Well, I hope I'm doing the right thing there. I think the 14 stretch in her a little bit. She's just not getting home in those 14 hundreds with a better quality horse. It's a different story with Maidens. Um, I always think she's a reasonable type of filly. Um, and I, I, this 1,200 must suit her. And then Sequoia, who once upon a time was, a, I think, a full brother to Dynasty, uh, is carrying top weight in race six. And um, the form's there, but it does look like he's got a bit of a tough task. Uh, yes, it does, Andrew. Um, he's getting there. Uh, he's coming down nicely in the ratings. Um, I think he's a horse. If he comes out of Saturday well, that that he's going to be just about ready to start winning. His, his rating is going to be in the right place. Yeah. Um, he'll be competitive Saturday, but I've got a feeling that after Saturday, um, things will probably start to turn for him. So 1,500 just a tad on the sharp side for him? Could possibly be, you know, uh, um, but... Oh, we've got to have a go and, and you know, if he, if he doesn't win or runs nowhere, he gets a drop in the rating. So yeah. uh, he makes him more competitive next time. And then to put the lid on the day for you, little Miss Sunshine comes out of the Starling Stakes, uh, five and a half lengths behind there, no disgrace, in good company. She's quite a nice filly, you know. Um, she, after the Starling Stakes, we thought maybe she wants blinkers, but I don't want to try the blinkers straight in an 1800 drawn badly. That's the thing against her there is the draw. Plus, the fact is she's a three-year-old with right at the top end of the weights, uh, 93. Look, she's going to be a nice filly over ground, for sure. Um, whether she's good enough to win her for 93 now, I don't know. But uh, given her pedigree, again, I keep banging on about Silvanas. you just got to wait. They'll come. Uh, she's a filly that showed us a fair bit. She is Silvana, um, an immature Silvana, but ready to run. So let's see how she goes. A filly, I, I think, has got a future over this sort of trip and more.